these days, you know, our homes are areas that, well, homes are places that are sanctuaries and things that we want to feel different about the way that we are in a space than we do when we're at work. So I think apart from climate, I think people want to feel like they're in a relaxed environment, that they're in an open environment and that they're simply in a space that is ideally engaging with the outdoor space, light, air, nature, um, you know, in most cases. And I think, um, you know, people want to go home and they want to feel good about themselves. So the focus on our outdoor living is perhaps even more significant now than has been on internal living. And I think part of that is that the focus of the well, centre of gravity with things like the kitchens of the houses have gone from being the back in a room to being open plan to now almost being at the point between indoor and outdoor spaces, which um, I think is exciting and probably a, a good reflection on the fact that people are recognising how climate and lifestyle stuff affect the way that we live. Door systems can be slid away entirely so that when doors are open there really is no sense of what was inside and what was outside and even to the extent that in certain instances we've used door and window systems that when they're open there's actually a degree of ambiguity about where one begins and the other ends and I, I think these are things that we, we think makes a much more interesting house and I think also it's actually proven to become a lot more economical in terms of how we use space because instead of duplicating things we're actually seeing that people are doing using one space but opening up the walls and stuff in such a way that it can really perform two different roles.